I'm Janice Cohen. I'm a project scientist here at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. My father was a firefighter in the city of Pittsburgh, and I'm told my favorite toy when I was young was a ladder truck. So I guess it, it kind of comes from him. I've always had an interest in fire. I became involved in the fire modeling about 20 years ago. Fires have become such an important phenomenon. They become more and more destructive and costly. There's some really exciting emerging capabilities coming out of NCAR, and two of them are our flood prediction capabilities and our wildfire behavior technology. The science is, is getting to the point where we can model very high resolution features. That's the of the fire, the fuels, the terrain, the landscapes. And so it's so nice about NCAR is it has this applied research laboratory that can take these technologies and put it into practice for the benefit of society. So it really meets the National Science Foundation's fundamental science need and the societal benefits needs as well. So originally we started to try to understand some basic aspects about fire behavior and then we started to see if we could reproduce past cases. We've done that on a dozen or so cases by now. It almost seems like an impossible problem, but the way we've addressed this challenge is by bringing in some new satellite data. And this infrared data is detecting the heat output from a fire. And it's much more detailed than the satellites we've been using for the past 10 years. And it's so good that now we can see the outline of a fire in crisp detail. It's those bursts, it's those shift in winds that happen, it's thunderstorms that form after f over fires that produce microbursts and downdrafts. That all changes the fire behavior very dramatically, and those are the things that can kill firefighters. So this technology is the, the first time ever that you can capture those features. A lot of the goals of firefighting now are to catch fires when they're small before they become big incidents. It's possible that people spend up to a million dollars a day in suppression costs on a large wildfire. We spend a million and a half a year on suppressing fires. Technologies that are currently used by river forecast centers primarily focus on historical weather data and uh, river gauges. So this idea of capturing all these major elements of the water cycle is really one of the, the key integrative uh, themes or goals of developing these technologies. Uh, we get a number of different things out of the model. Instead of just getting stream flow, in our case, predicted at a point, we get patterns of stream flow moving down entire channel networks. We get water moving across the land surface. What's unique here is you don't have to wait until the high water hits the river gauges to get a sense of what's happening. Because you're modeling the entire area of the flood, the whole watershed, you can see the evolution of the river go rising and the flood waves coming down the hill or, or moving through neighborhoods. And the details in the hundreds of meters which provides street level inundation information and that's never been available before operationally. And the 2013 flood was very widespread throughout a large region. Uh, over 18 counties were affected by the flood event within Colorado. And so that was, that was a major change for us and it was a major sort of demonstration of what this technology could do because the modeling system has the capability to represent all of those areas, giving decision makers and the public increasingly longer amounts of lead time with high confidence so that they can prepare themselves how they, how they really need to to protect the property, protect their belongings, is really where I think we're going to be headed. At any, you know, at any time, this kind of information has the potential to impact uh, you know, over 300 million people in the country. If you think about it like that, that water because it touches on so many people's lives in so many different ways, and we're going to be part of this enterprise that provides uh, improved water and forecasting information for the nation, that's a humbling activity.